Hello, I'd like to welcome, welcome back to Metroid Prime 2, Metroid Prime Trilogy Edition. And uh, we're gonna quickly... 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. There we go. Last time we got the uh, Light of Aegon Wastes, and now we have to deliver it. Because, you know, that's what we came here to do. We picked up the planetary energy, and now we're gonna deliver the planetary energy. One thing I just like is that we really don't have to use any of the beams right now. There really isn't a reason to use them. They're there, and you can. But so many enemies are a little bit too weak to really warrant that kind of action. Okay, so this is mining station action, which I heard a lot about. A lot of, a lot of the guys saying you can do something at mining station actions. Now, don't forget, these are light enemies, meaning that a good dark shot just messes them up and sends them into a a frozen state in which they are easy enough to kill. Or we just blow them straight up. Doesn't really matter too much. Results tend to be satisfactory no matter the circumstances. I got us also a good bit of energy. I like how they play the space part theme in this area. There's not really any reason to. Oh, and I hope you, uh... I hope you don't like the storm too much, because once we deliver this planetary energy delivery... This place is going to be a lot nicer. Less storms, less chaos, less death and despair, you know, that kind of stuff. No! Uh, I know there's no reason to scan them at all because you don't get any research log for it or anything, but I just want to, you know, I just want to. I like how so many doors have that five lamps surrounding it thing going on. Just to sort of justify, oh, this is why the secret missile is a thing that they do. Just how their doors are designed. Look at how cool this looks. Look at the little rolling yo-yo. Man, I love yo-yos. Except that I don't, because I can't use them. But drawing went alright. I am happy. I'm now going to do some... Studies, as they call them, which is basically just you sketch a bit, you try to figure out what works. There's no stakes involved, it's just messing about to see if you can figure it out. And I, I hope that I'll learn a couple of things, maybe I'll get better at something. My biggest problem tends to be penmanship, anyway. Okay, so there's a reason we can't... Yeah, you can't go talk to the hologram. All we can do... I don't like this song, by the way. I think there's too many vocals. It's really kind of annoying because it makes the song sound so much more whiny that it makes it sound epic I do I don't think I could sit at a Luminoth concert and go man that's cool oh yeah don't forget you can't leave the area because of uh, minor problems with the doors that just form magical shields to stop you Every time you do this, this happens, and the, uh, the sky clears up a bit. I really like this little thing. I think it's a really nice design. It's really nice. Yeah, the cl sky clears up a bit. And the temple regains some of its energy. I think we should go see you must, but problem. I think he'd be glad to hear that we've succeeded. And bought them a few more moments. I don't like this room. Uh, I don't like it because it doesn't work perspective-wise. You sit outside of the... They couldn't render the entire temple, but they still insisted on having this open-esque room. It's kind of counterproductive to work against the hardware limitations like that. You should work around them. Oh yeah, this guy's hologram appears at the wrong side of the energy generator. That is not where your hologram is supposed to be, boy. And he decides to fuck off. Yes, I get it. Thank you. This is this is where your hologram's supposed to be, you jackass. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Do 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 do
I'm gonna sneeze! Oh, gotta keep that sneezing. I don't like these shriek bats, they're very kind of weird. You know. If it wasn't for the Morph Ball jump that you get in the Wii version, Morph Ball actually isn't that great of a way to get around, because you constantly have to wait for jumps to happen. With the ability to just autonomously jump at any given moment, which they primarily put into the sequel, it's really not a feature of this installment or the previous one. And you can just see that the speed increase is dramatic. I think we're about to get the Dark Visor too. That's pretty cool! I think I can concur, or agree, or perhaps just, you know... I don't even know what concur means. It might mean anything. Really. It might mean anything. Really. Oh, I should open my window so I know that I'm doing my stuff. Um, lean back so that I have the space, because else it starts to complain about my pants pocket now. I think we can actually go fight a very specific mini boss. Yeah. So I don't like this Michelle expansion that I'm about to get, mostly because it's a very cheap one. It is really just nah. You're not gonna get this one because because nobody's gonna tell you. So what does it imply that the Federation just sort of built their facility surrounding this? Because it implies that they just stopped. They were like, no, we're done. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. It's my paradise. Cook up some fucking love. Oh, I'll go down in a minute, actually. I think we're supposed to go there anyway. Anyway, you can go back down here. And this time you'll get something for your troubles. Because this time, there's a dude here. Look at that big fat dude on the floor. Look at how huge he is. This is the Galactic Federation Missile Trooper. Guess what he gives you? I like how it still doesn't want to tell you what it is. So this implies that, given the chance, these guys are actually really tough. Oh, I like how the fire just kills him. He's the only enemy that I know of that drops a missile expansion. Which makes him interesting, but it's kind of weird. I hope my feet studies goes right, or Paul studies. I intend to draw anthropomorphic creatures because I think they have more flair to them. Humans are bland and boring in that perspective. And I want something colorful and fun and exciting and engaging. I wonder that since... Oh, wait, we can actually pick up another power-up while we're here. Um, right over here, I think. Yeah, because we lose our power-ups right over there. Oh, yeah, they, they can be. That's interesting. So that implies that their position is not only imperfect, but they are still vulnerable to the energies themselves. Which says a lot. It says a surprising lot. I 
like the smallest amount of energy you can pick up is just straight up one charged shot. Let me in. Let me in! And the missile expansion. That's pretty sweet. Wait a second! This missile expansion, didn't it look different? I thought that it looked different. But that might just be me. I don't think that door ever opens, by the way. What the? They have a melee attack? Who would have figured? I like how touching them hurts you. They're that parasitic. The mere function of touching these people will make you gross out. Anyway, let's get back. Oh, you can scan our ship again! Um, because it, while we're doing this stuff, our ship is still busy repairing itself. It's the primary reason we're not leaving or contacting anyone. It's because our ship's kind of beat up. Our ship repairs just in time for us to leave, which is basically plot reasons. But hey, who cares? Let's move. I do like how they put these plants here, which you see in mid I think they did because a lot of people were afraid of the plants. I was afraid of the plants at first, so I was like, ooh, and then seeing them again, it's like, ooh. I always thought that the ship was Chozo built, but it's not. I thought that you could scan it for, like, percentage-based repairs, but it could also just be that it gets less beat up, visually. Like, it just looks less damaged. Um... Uh, the ship also recharge your ammo, but I don't really need that. Um, can I scan this thing for it? Nope. There's a little tidbit. There's a dude up here, which tells us that Samus' ship landed where a key is. Oh, my throat's clogging up a bit. Mm. Are we gonna get the secret missile? Might be. Might be. I know, it seems like the place and the time. That's some, uh, dedication, as they say. Oh, no, the door is closed. From the outside, no less. That's a bit curious. Because beyond there is where the Seeker missiles are at. It's almost like they're trying to teach us something. And you go out, and you see this little thing. Which might have always been up on the floor, because it's kind of annoying that I have to walk up to it. Oh, no, we can't get it until we get the boost ball, I think. Which means that I might not even supposed to be here. Uh, nope. I'm not supposed to be here yet. I'm supposed to go back up to the temple. Thought we couldn't go back there, but apparently we can. Weird. So I went all the way over here for nothing. Ah, it's fine. Can't always expect to be that kind of clever. With our morph ball, it shouldn't take too long to get there anyway. It's practically like taking a bus trip. Vroom vroom. Ying, ying. That's one thing that's kind of difficult to do is to make it to make you fight enemies when you can just avoid them, without making them into an arena. Especially, it's, it's really a tricky bit. I don't really care, Dark Splinters. I don't like how enemies hurt you on touch. It doesn't make any sense. This game has attacks, and yet enemies still just kill you by touching you. Really? You couldn't be bothered to fix to not to not do that. You just had to. You were like, mm. But I wanted to. I couldn't stop myself. So we can do this. But there's a tiny little problem that I need to explain to you. 
Real leggy split before we do this. Um, not every world is made for you to arrive uh, with um, your, your stuff. So there are moments where the game will straight up let you go places, but it doesn't want you to. And this is one of those places. Um, it's filled with evil dark stuff. Oh my god, that place looks so... Oh, you can even see the little laser beams! Oh my god, that place looks so evil. And look at the energy controllers at the bottom, too. Ooh. I've never really looked up at the temples. Yeah, that guy did drop a different kind. I think he dropped a missile expansion from Metroid Prime. Sort of as a throwback. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool reference, don't you think, Mr. Inklaw? Yeah, I think he agrees. Who's... Ah, oh, just... Since, since we can't go anywhere, we just have to go back. Oh, look, this is Ingworm, by the way. We haven't seen these. Um, they, they essentially try to explain why you can't access certain areas. I don't like it too much, because there's so much of this their stuff growing here that it kind of makes it feel like they're copying their way out of everything. Oh, we don't want you to go there? Oh, there's just some magic beans in the way. Here's a magic bean. Go walk into it. Stub your toe. Everyone has a blast. Great. Oh, I mean, look at the temple. Oh, they can't even see the temple all that well. That's probably why they did it the way they did it. But there should be a laser beam going there, right? Apparently, uh, there could be, but I can't see it if that's the case. It just looks like a huge clot. Like someone just threw up. My masterpiece is my ball of vomit and hairballs. Whee! Look at how organic this place looks. It doesn't. It doesn't fit with the fact that Sanctuary Fortress just looks like this huge mecha fortress. And you have this temple that's made out of trees. It's like they wanted to do the Chozo thing, but they couldn't decide. Because you can't do that much with it. Unless you're La fucking Mulana. La Mulana. Oh, don't worry, there's nothing here this time. This time we're in the clear. Unfortunately, without the Torvus translation, you know we can't go there yet. I always liked how the Morphall stabilized itself after any period. Oh, look at that. I like. I always liked how it stabilized itself after a period of time. That's a really minor thing they did, but it makes for such more interesting design. Okay, hello there. I thought I'd swing on by and give you a hi, because we have a cutscene coming. It's actually the first place that we will see, uh, substantially, the Dark Ing water, which we can't move through at all, and it will hurt the living crap out of us. Uh, but it's a thing. So, actually, let's shoot him with some things. Because even light energy, and I guess dark energy would naturally repel from... I don't know what the hell the dark beam even shoots. It's just a little swirly thing. Yeah, um... It's a weird thing about Torvus Bog, is that it's the first place you extensively come into contact with dark water. Which is basically what it says in the tin is water that's pure evil. Uh, dark water is nothing too special. It's just it just hurts you a lot, and until you get the light suit, you can't do anything with it. The light suit suspiciously solves that at the same time, which is kind of annoying. Alright, just to stop you from moving ahead. I don't know what actually stops you from moving ahead, though. 
You can just get the light beam and then go over here. Hey, it's Bamboos. Oh, well, now it's Harmony Class Drones. Rogue Maintenance Units. Fancy! They're basically tiny baby similarities. They behave exactly the same. But, as all light things, they kind of just blow up whenever you shoot them with dark energy. I like how they manage to keep that consistent, even if it kind of breaks certain enemies. Well, technically it breaks them. I mean, it's part of the design document that they are weak to it. They could have just not done it, but... The concept is that it could have been more difficult. Going down the elevator now. Look at all those fancy red dots on my shoulders and my knees and my legs. I don't get all those red dots. It makes the armor feel organic, but since we have this armor for like 75% of the game, that's one thing that bothers me, is that the dark suit isn't that great, and yet you have it for such a huge period of time. It will occupy just... You will not get it. Like, we got two areas with just this suit, and it feels kind of lame that we don't get a new suit. Because you got the various suit, you got the gravity suit, and it all kind of went all whole fast and exciting because you did a whole bunch of stuff. But here it's something, like, meh. Dark Age. So you might have noticed they don't talk about that desert place that they meant, that little other home, because Sanctuary Fortress doesn't actually suffer. Uh, it got invaded by Ing, but for the most part, it seems that the Sanctuary Fortress is just perfectly intact. It just survived. It sits there, hanging out. I'm waiting for someone to tell it to fuck off. Why these things are everywhere? 60 missiles. That's pretty cool. I should have saved when I could have. Now I'm stuck doing more stuff. I think I'm gonna turn on lock, regular lock on again. Cause it's, it's kind of annoying. So yeah, I'd immediately make sure that you know that you are going to have to go through the dark world for this one. Ba 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 Oh yeah, expect to see a lot less beacons. Just so few beacons. Now that you have the dark suit, the game's kind of like, nah, you don't need that to live. You can live perfectly fine on a diet of cranberry juice and pecan nuts. That's a portal. It's just a whole bunch of ingworms. I don't think you ever get to scan ingworms. Actually, like, scan, scan them. Oh, look at the atmosphere just washing over you. Like a thick blanket. I remember when I was little, I didn't know what the fuck to do here. So I was just kind of like, meh. Corrupted sentry eye. What do you mean, charge energy? My basic charge shot kills them. They are essentially the oculized that we saw. Ah, oh, they didn't even try.
do 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 I think I might want to do slightly differently. Um, click clack, click clack, uh, click clack, click clack. Okay, so I gotta do it from both ends. Or I do this one from this end. What a weird design for security mechanism. So, here's the thing. They talk about kinetic orbs, but they never talk about why so many Morph Ball design systems are around. Is Morph Ball energy just some sort of conventional power source that's commonly used? Never explained. Just like never existed. Yeah, but they are bomb slots, not guns. Why would you? I don't even know. It's 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 one of those things you could explain away with the Chozo since they had power suits, but it doesn't work with the Lumanoth because they don't have power suits. They were literally just dudes with guns. Very fancy guns and very fancy dudes, but... Anyway, we get this weird segment that I still don't quite get why it's even in the game. Why is this in the game? Why is there a turret segment in Metroid? I don't get it. I just don't get it. I just really do not get this. I don't even think there's anything for doing this flawless. I don't think the energy stops. They somehow found a way to magically generate protective shields, but they didn't use it all that much. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And again, you can see that the various suit colors are used instead of the dark suit, which is weird because you use the dark suit most of the time. So... It's either trying to tell us something, or it's just kind of weak. Oh, pirates. Hey. <sighs> you know, you're still nerds, even if you try. I really don't care. You're still nerds. Oh, they're such dorks. Oh, it's so dork. I can't even. You're so bad at your job. It's just not even funny anymore. You used to be so good. Now you're just awful. Oh, oh, man. Some sticky water. No, they're actually trying to teach you. Water is something you can't deal with very well. And you're going to have to learn to accept the fact that Thomas always has had a problem with water. Behind this door. No, actually, there's a good chance we can't even access it. No, it's actually yep, it's right behind the door. Here. And here we go, translation. Age of Anxiety. So that object, uh, the Leviathan of this planet, just decided to, f to wig out towards the other dimension. And Dark Samus, while technically... Okay, so here's kind of a weird thing about the whole thing. From what I get, Dark Samus doesn't really care about Dark Aether, just about her own growth by Phazon. Which means that, technically speaking, Dark Samus operates either purely to protect the Leviathan, which would make sense, 
or Dark Samus's operations are entirely to be attributed to, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I think she's just personally operating because it's implied that she steals face. I mean, she might be stealing it back, could be. Or maybe she's trying to protect uh, Dark Aether because it's full of Phazon. When the reason it's full of Phazon is because the Leviathan went there. It crashed into the planet with such fury that it just teleported. I like how they tell you that. They're like, yeah, this thing used to work, but it broke. It used to work. That's ah, going to break down soon. No, I'm kidding. It's still working right now. It's working right now, but will it work soon? Ah, uh, here, meet these guys. These are nuts. I don't get this. This implies that everyone used the exact same technology in it. And all compared to Samus. I don't like him either, because they're kind of weird. Tarvis Bog! It's a wet, wet place filled with water, swamplands, just, just lots of water. I like the song music, though. It's really good music. Oh, and meet some of the most annoying enemies this game has ever seen. I still don't quite understand. It's strongly implied that the water just screwed everything up. Hindlings. Hindlings. <laughs> so they're basically piranhas, but they're less aggressive ones. wonder is wow, what the ink did with the keys because as it is implied the ink kind of just took them they came in and they took them venom weed Interesting. so yeah, it's kind of why the ink came along and just took it they came in and they took it but then they took it to the Dark World, which implies that either this guy was booted out of the Dark World, a la Matrix, or that the Inn came to the Light World, took the key, and then stored it in the Dark World. I don't know which is more likely, but it all sounds kind of weird. Eh, safe station, we're done. I'm gonna call it! It's been a long episode! I didn't want it to be this long, but all those little baby mistakes pile up quickly! Ugh! I'm gonna draw.